Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. 12 Huge Coronation Street Spoilers for Next Week Next week on Coronation Street, there's a dramatic confession in Joel's murder case. Elsewhere, Billy's life hangs in the balance as he hits rock bottom, and Mason finds a new ally on the cobbles. Here's our full guide to 12 big moments coming up. You can also check out our collection of 26 spoiler pictures from these episodes. Daisy helps Kit to pack up his things, as the police detective prepares to move out of the rovers. She's intrigued to spot a whiskey bottle that's almost empty. Ryan informs Daisy that Kit pretended to be friends with him to find out information about her likes and dislikes. He claims this is proof that she can't trust Kit. Taking this on board, Daisy quizzes Kit about the empty booze bottle. Kit lies that he wanted to get drunk after attending Paul's funeral, but what's the real story? Lisa's phone has been examined and Kit reveals that a damning unsent message was found, suggesting that she wanted Joel dead. Kit orders Lisa to tell him where she was on the night of Joel's murder. Later, Lisa's day gets worse when she receives a stern message, summoning her down to the police station. Lauren continues to experience kindness from the community, as Max and David promise that she and Frankie can move in with them once the foster care situation has been sorted out. Lauren is also delighted when Roy offers to buy her a pram. She asks Dee Dee to help her choose the perfect one, but Dee Dee snubs her and refuses to get involved. Dee Dee breaks down in a heart-to-heart -heart with Ed, admitting that she was the one who killed Joel after finding out that he planned to escape justice by doing a runner from Weatherfield. Unable to live with the guilt, Dee Dee reveals that she plans to hand herself in to the police. Ed is alarmed and tries to convince her to keep quiet. Did Dee Dee really murder Joel? Summer is baffled when she returns home one afternoon and finds a strange man, Wayne, in the flat. Billy provides an explanation, admitting that he met Wayne at an addicts group and invited him back. Billy isn't looking forward to attending Bernie's screening event at the Rovers, which will see the locals gather to watch Paul's ashes being sent into space. He downs some whiskey before leaving. Just as everyone watches Paul's ashes being released on the big screen, Billy spitefully pulls the plug and ruins the moment. He then makes a drunken speech, branding the event a farce and admitting that he made a move on Todd after Paul's funeral. Billy makes himself scarce after his outburst, hiding out behind Underworld as he continues to drink heavily. He comforts himself by listening to old voice recordings from Paul, but faces fresh despair when his phone dies. As the freezing conditions begin to take their toll, Billy starts to slip away. Bernie finds him and calls for help, but will she be too late? Tim and Sally fear that they have a mouse in their house when they find spilt food in the kitchen and other signs of strange activity in the garden shed. The real story is revealed when the couple find an unexplained rucksack, proving that an intruder has been living in their shed. Tim takes the bag over to streetcars and catches Mason trying to retrieve it. Mason is forced to come clean about how he's homeless and was in desperate need of somewhere to sleep at night. Tim tries to help Mason find somewhere to stay, but the search proves fruitless. Taking pity on Mason, caring Tim gives him permission to discreetly sleep on the sofa at no four but warns that Sally can't find out. Daniel accompanies Bethany as she speaks to a nurse at the hospital. Daniel expresses his concern that Bethany isn't leaving the flat following her recent ordeal, so the nurse suggests that a support group could help. Later in the week, Bethany bravely attends Bernie's event at the Rovers but gets embarrassed when she realizes that her stoma bag is leaking. Full of insecurities, Bethany rushes off, Bethany and Daniel make their peace after falling out over the rover's visit. Bethany makes it clear to Daniel that she's not ready to resume their physical relationship as she still doesn't want him to see her stomach bag. David receives an email from Weatherfield Prison Services, but chooses not to tell Shona what's going on. Later in the week, 
His shifty behavior continues when he deletes a string of emails from the prison. What is he up to now?